Gaffer a goal that's drawing the end. Um, a point about fair on reflection? Yeah, probably about right. I think, um, yeah, we had chances to score, uh, and in fairness, they, they had similar. So, um, yeah, a draw was about right. Yeah, just about right today. Is it important? Obviously, you can't win the game, you don't lose it. Uh, yeah, but in, f in fairness, every substitution we made, uh, I know Cal Mack had to come off because he's not played for so uh, for a few weeks. Every substitution was trying to be more more aggressive and more attacking. Um, second half, uh, in particular, was much better than the sort of last twenty minutes of the first half. Um, but yeah, it was just just okay today. I think uh, in terms of effort. I was much happier today than I was the last time we were at home um, against Burton. So um, in terms of that aspect, uh, I can't ask any more from the players. Some of the decision making, I think, maybe in that final third in the last ten minutes or so, could have been uh, could have been a bit better for the team. But in terms of the effort, I really really demanded that from the players today. I can't ask too much more. The actual overall overall performance was just okay. I think um, with this stage of the season and, and maybe where the squad's at. Uh, I know, and I, I understand players' minds will be obviously what the decision will be at the end of the season, where they are, whether they're on loan or out of contract. I've got a lot of players, fourteen or so, in that position. It's I understand that situation. I think that's maybe why we get performances like today, where sometimes it feels like it's drifting. But in terms of effort, uh, now uh, I can't ask any more from the players today. A few kind of half chances in that first half, but. Without, I suppose, a recognised centre forward on the field, did that make things a little bit difficult in the first half? Not in the first 20 minutes. first 20 minutes was fine. We controlled the game. We were um, Teller was in a very similar position to what he played uh, against Blackpool. He can do that. Um, I think after 20 minutes, when Port Vale went more aggressive um, and almost left two for two on that last line, we just didn't use it. Now, when a team does that, we have to play, we have to play the longer pass, the spacing behind. Uh, becomes more more dangerous. I thought I can't really be critical of the players. I just thought we continued to play. Maybe didn't quite recognise that actually our wingers are most dangerous players. Are one v one on that last line, and maybe we didn't play that forward pass enough. But uh, yeah, it's still quite hard. The pitch is the pitch is difficult to play. Look, we want to play a really a really sort of aggressive passing game where obviously look that's what I'm used to twelve or thirteen years ago. Um, yeah, I need to support the groundsman, get a better pitch because um, it's tough. It's tough to play through teams, um, probably for both sets of teams. Second half, you made a few changes. Charlie Kelman, Johnny Smith and uh, Tello had another good header, didn't he? Another chance at the back post. So Marshall Goro hit the post. Fine margins in a way? Yeah, maybe a little bit for them as well. I had a goalkeeper that just produced an incredible double save. So, um, attacking wise, um, I liked some of it. The other parts where we just got a little bit Less team orientated. I know as the the clock ticks down, people want to be the one drive on, dribble past one or two. But there's still if the if our players are in better positions, play the pass. Um, yeah, no second half was better. I liked a little bit more of our intent. The substitutions again weren't really uh, around performance. It was more tactical. Just be more aggressive, get more speed on the pitch. Um, yeah, today was it was just okay. I think um, fighting very hard. Uh, for the next three or four games to really keep that intensity when I understand the players' position, but we still need that winner. You mentioned Sam made a big save in the first half and a double save in the second and uh, proved again why he's thought of so highly. Uh, he's just an incredible player. Um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I say it almost uh, every game. He produces a moment that has an impact on the result. So, um, yeah, just a... Brilliant goalkeeper. It's incredible. Uh, Twelve months ago, I'm watching him in a reserve game at Blackpool. Um, to look where he is now is um, it's a massive credit to him, really. Um, it's tough as a young player. All the young players that we've had out there, uh, I think they've done extremely well this season. I have asked a lot of them. One game in particular, Derby at home, I asked too much of too many. But the young players have been brilliant. They have literally been thrown into a League One season, minus eight. Seven loans, some of them not playing in there, have never played league football. And to, uh, where we're in the league, maybe 12th, 13th. For them to get there with a minus eight points, the young players should be extremely proud. But I'll let them know near the time that uh, next season I want more and I'll demand more. 
Just looking ahead to Charlton on Tuesday, had a, obviously a good win against Barnsley today. Will we see any of the lads that missed out for injury? You talked about Stephen Humphreys, Josh McGuinness, uh, Luke Chambers, Sean Clare. Definitely not Luke Chambers. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. It was only really um, post training uh, yesterday. So like Stephen and Sean finished training. It was only when the physio told me uh, post training around them both. So I would imagine they must be close. Uh, and Josh, I know will will absolutely fight to be on that pitch Tuesday. If isn't he'll uh, he'll be there when he can. I think uh, yeah, Jordan Jones. Uh, like I say before the game, he won't be ready till. Hopefully, the last game of the season, and um, Kai Payne. I know uh, the fans won't know too much about him, but he's he's now back with back with us for a couple of weeks. So he was uh, he was in our squad today. So hopefully, at some point, we can see Kai if he if he trains well.